in the end <coughs> the main message i want to give is that um groundwater management or governance is impossible without accounting for this nexus between electricity and groundwater agar dono mein se aap ek ko manage karne ki koshish kare dusre ko ignore kare to bahut mushkil hogi just as electricity utilities cannot improve their profitability by ignoring farmers similarly when we talk about groundwater management or groundwater governance we cannot ignore <clears throat> and we've seen that in the case of this wonderful presentation we heard just before this one in ap farms um uh, it's a wonderful experiment that is being done um and a lot of success also has been reported in the initial studies but some of we we worked with a couple of edma students who went and visited uh, nine of the hydrological units uh nine of the 60 hydrological units where this work was being done and they found that actually um there were very positive results initially shuru mein bahut जो टेंटेटिवली भी बताए गए लेकिन काफी पॉजिटिव थे वो रिजल्ट्स लेकिन अभी 2012 के ये हाल है कि रफली 25 टू 30 परसेंट ऑफ दिलेजेस में ही हाइड्रोलॉजिकल मॉनिटरिंग कंटिन्यू कर रहा है बाकी 70 टू 75 फाइव परसेंट विलेजेस में हाइड्रोलॉजिकल मॉनिटरिंग हैज बीन स्टॉप वाटर बजटिंग इज बीन डन इन ओनली वन थर्ड ऑफ द विलेजेस और हैबिटेशन एंड दीज वर देश परफॉर्मिंग हैबिटेशन दैट वी सिलेक्टेड so and one of the reasons for that is that ap farms did not account for electricity if you continue to give farmers free power then it is very difficult to expect the farmers to you know reduce their um, irrigation or power use even even if you if you even if you engage with them for 2 3 year 4 years in, in a project uh, as interesting and uh, well experimented as ap farms so the sustainability of such groundwater management initiatives uh, is at stake and therefore the energy irrigation nexus must be accounted for thank you uh, we i'm sure there are questions so we'll actually do a sort of quick round of questions uh any hands one 2 3 <coughs> Four, five. So we we'll do it in two rounds. Uh, starting with Vishnu, I'll do the guys. So he's the tallest person. So he's really this. It's a very interesting perspective. In the studies, we were able to document the impact on groundwater. Much focus was on energy and what happened to energy. But were in these regions any correlation of what is actually happening to grass? and what is happening to the groundwater level that part one the question to uh, part two is that i think there are good regression in sort of claiming that no change is possible in a democratic setting uh, uh, i think that kind of a messaging perhaps is self reinforcing and uh, in a particular uh, political milieu i'm not sure how right it is so for example if you uh, uh, suggest that crop production will collapse that is a statistic that one one relation Obviously, market pricing would take into account what's happening to the crop productivity, and there would be linkage to service that shock would, would be absorbed perhaps less than in the eight or ten years that you play. Mm -hmm. So, what is that uh, based on this sort of collapse of uh, agricultural production? Finally, the Vanessa project in uh, Karnataka actually looked at replacing the pump sets with energy efficient pump sets. I can see that happening in the Gujarat market. So efficiency simply coming because of the quality of power is one thing, but efficiency coming because of improved pumps is another thing. So what is the impact of the improved pump sets on energy? Unfortunately, the Vanik Sapta project also did not capture groundwater movements as much as it did, but it did lock the entire zone from further forward. So this perhaps that lesson to be taken to be scaled up. Just those comments. Maybe we take. Couple more. You want to sit here? Mm. Better. Need a pen. Sit here. Write these down as well. Yeah. Go ahead. Take longer. Should two questions. One. Uh, can you just uh, if if it can be hidden? Yeah. 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 Uh, 
आपने वो स्लाइड दिखाया था जिसमें यू टॉक अबाउट की मध्य प्रदेश का एग्जाम्पल लिया था जहाँ पर टेम्परिक कनेक्शन दिए गए थे और आपने कहा कि वो बम्पर क्रॉप हुआ उसके पहले आप बता रहे थे कि जो सप्लाई है एक्चुअली गोज डाउन ड्यूरिंग दैट पर्टिकुलर पीरियड सो ये समझ नहीं आ रहा है कि न्यू कनेक्शन से वो वो कहाँ से इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ला कहाँ से गई सप्लाई वो कहाँ से गई उसी पॉकेट से हो रहा है या देर इज ऑपरेशन ऑफ सप्लाई सेकेंड क्वेश्चन आपके पूरे प्रेजेंटेशन में जैसे विश्वनाथ ने भी कहा कि देर इज लॉट ऑफ ऑन इन द होल कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ एनर्जी and the work that has been done but somehow uh, knowing gujarat the way uh, has been talked about especially because of the uh, recent elections there is no mention about the political will that was there to push these states i mean it seems that there is more of corporatization of the whole approach but somehow was the political will was the good politics also involved in to make it Maybe that's quite a handful. So maybe you want more. Yeah. Okay. Um, let me start in the reverse order. There is definitely a lot of political will involved in this because um, just I, I I mentioned it in passing, but you know, taking action against a million farmers uh, on this issue, which has been you know obvious to everyone for years, and yet. <clears throat> the government could not do anything. Was a huge, you know, uh, declaration that Modi is behind this and that if he has made up his mind, this has to be done. Which is what gave the electricity utilities also, you know, the, the sanction to go ahead and do it. Otherwise, there were there were instances where the electricity utility officials were afraid of going to villages because they they thought they would get beaten up. So if if the the political backing was not there, then uh, they would not have been able to do it. So if I didn't mention it enough, I, I should say it now that it was there. <coughs> the MP temporary connections again. Let me go back to that slide quickly. Yeah. So this is the this is the actual supply hours, ten hours of supply. It's a flat line. But what happens here is that because of the anarchy, because of the uh, uh, the meter burnout, uh, the transformer burnout, actually during these times the effective power supply is even lower than that, right? So when you give temporary connections, you are basically increasing the load of all the meters, right? Uh, and you are giving them more power. Now. I'm not sure whether MP had to buy more power from outside or whether they had surplus power within the state. Uh, but they definitely ensured that when you, when they are giving temporary connections, <coughs> and and it was in their interest because they are giving 90-day connections. Um, the farmers are paying. They also had a own your transformer scheme, so the farmers were owning transformers. Um, they were paying for the transformers. They were paying in advance for the electricity that they are going to use at a very high flat rate. So the 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 utility basically assumed that if we give them these connections for 90 days, these pumps will be on throughout. And at that high flat uh, flat rate, the farmers were paying in advance. So they ensured that these guys got good quality power in the temporary connections, and therefore they were able to bridge this gap. And that I think has contributed in a big way to this jump from seven lakh hectares to 22 lakh hectares of the cultivation in, in the recent years. Um, going back to the other questions, um, what happened to groundwater levels? There is a slide uh, that I have which I haven't shown. Uh, basically, it showed in in the initial years of the uh, Jyoti Gram, there was actual decrease in groundwater use. There was also a decrease in uh, farm farm power subsidy, and the both are linked. But then in 2006-7-8, Modi uh, issued new connections, <coughs> a large number of them, and therefore I think if we compare 2012 to 2004, uh, the actual farm power use would have gone up. 
the groundwater levels in in and I, Jyotirgram has different impact in different um, parts of Gujarat. In central Gujarat, groundwater level is never an issue because uh, the the aquifers are recharged by the Mahi Canal, which is and Mahi itself is now recharged by the Narmada. So groundwater level is never an issue. You can keep pumping a little aquifer. South Gujarat agriculture use itself is very low. It's a tribal area, very little agriculture demand. Uh, the two main areas are Saurashtra and uh, North Gujarat. In Saurashtra, along with what Modi was doing to power, there was also this whole recharge moment. So somewhere in between the two, uh, we, we saw in the annual partners we uh, RCJ and showed that the groundwater levels have actually come up. There have been improvements in groundwater level. So the pumping could not have gone up too much. There has been also good rainfall. So there are three important factors playing a role there. And in North Gujarat, <coughs> besides the improvements in farm power connections, they have also had this Sujalam Suslam scheme of taking excess Narmada water to recharge the aquifer there. I don't think that has gone to an extent to make a huge impact on the water levels. So there water levels are still at 800,000, 1200 feet. So one or two years of recharge is not going to make a difference. In fact, the aquifers there are so good that uh, all you have to do is basically deepen your tube well. The water is not going to run out like in Sarashtra. So if you are willing to keep going down every year, then the water is not going to finish. Um, so I don't know what has happened to the water levels in, in North Gujarat. Uh, the other part about uh, 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 this assumption that the, 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 the difficulty for a uh, politically elected government to do such a thing. Well, I'm saying that from experience, but also the, the experience of Jyotigram itself is showing that once a, a strong leader makes up his mind, then there is no stopping it. You know, Jyotigram itself was not very popular scheme. He tried to sell it as a you know, this is not an agriculture power, this is not a solution to our agriculture power problems. It's basically, I want to give 24 hour uh, connections to villages, to households. So there were smart ways of selling it. But even then, the farmers were, uh, and I'm sure Ramesh can say more about it, farmers were always, farmers knew that this is not going to be pleasant for them. So they were always willing to oppose this in a big way. But uh, with political will, so you are right. I mean, it's, it's, it's wrong to assume that it cannot happen. It requires a, a strong leader and uh, if, if the leader makes up his mind, then it can be done. On Venexa, yes, Venexa type experiment is also being tried in North Kuja, which is the UGDCL, um, which is the the discom which is facing the most trouble. Um, however, there was an IRMA study, a study done by IRMA professor, <coughs> which found that the the, the improvements were not significant. Um, I have not gone into the details of that, but the Venexa model, yes, it is definitely something I should include in things, interesting things that have been done elsewhere. So that is one. Yeah. So, uh, 